All right, got ourselves a twin spin planned here. I will do that. It's a song called If You Could Read My Mind. First, we have the cover.
I'd walk away like a movie star who gets burned in a three-way street into number two. A movie queen to play the scene of bringing all the good things out in me. But for now, love, let's be real. I never thought I could act this way, and I've got to say that I just don't get it. I don't know where we went wrong, but the feeling's gone, and I just can't get it back. If you could read my mind, love, what a tale my thoughts could tell. Just like an old time movie about a ghost from a wishing well in a castle dark or a fortress strong with chains upon my feet. The story always ends. If you read. Between the lines, you'll know that I'm just trying to understand the feelings that you have. I never thought I could feel this way, and I've got to say that I just don't get it. I don't know where we went wrong, but the feeling's gone, and I just can't get it back. Alrighty, twin spin there. That was a song. If you could read my mind, for the cover done by the group called Stars on Fifty Four, and then the original by the late Gordon Lightfoot. I mean, I myself, uh, I myself am undecided. Although I do have the original tune on CD somewhere. Oh, never mind. Actually, I have it there. <laughs> yeah, there we are. It's too bad I never got to met the, meet the guy. That would have been awesome. I said I heard so many songs. I have to admit that my favorite Gordon Lightfoot tune is a song called uh, Sundown, which is actually a great tune, even though it's older than I am. <laughs> but uh, that's okay. Now, guest 561, uh, did you want a Bette Midler tune? I mean, I have uh, can't really find the one that you asked for, unfortunately, so I tried something a little more... Uh, I did find some of her more common tunes called, uh, you know, called uh, The Rose... Uh, Wind Beneath My Wings. Uh, I know she did a version called... Uh, some, did a version of uh, Mambo Italiano, Gift of Love, Beast of Burden, which is a... Uh, which was originally done by the, uh, you know, Rolling Stones. Uh, yeah, the one I had planned is one called The Rose. I don't know if that's really what you wanted or not, but uh, please let me know. I'm actually going to uh, try to do something else here. All right, so let's see here. Hmm. Let's see here. Okay. Got to shut some things down now because I'm uh, got too many wind got too many windows open and that could affect my uh that could actually affect my uh computer's performance because uh or so I have been told. So anyway, I try not to do that. I know I should Well, you know what? I hope you this is hope I don't I know you wanted a tune that's I think you wanted a Bet Midler tune there, uh, Guest 561, so we'll play the rose for you. Hopefully it's what you wanted. Some say love, it is a river that drowns the tender reed. Some say love.
Alrighty, that's a very, very, uh, very nice, actually, a uh, uh, surprisingly nice tune there. Got uh, Bette Midler with The Rose. I know I do have another record, I do have another recording of that on my PC. Unfortunately, I don't actually talk to the, I don't, I have not person talked to the person who recorded that version in quite some time. So I don't know if they've, if they're still around or if they've uh, pa uh, sadly passed away. I honestly don't know. I need to get in touch with them at some point, but we'll see. I honestly am not sure. But uh, anyway, big hellos to Debbie NJ, who is here. Um, well, that's very interesting. I know I mentioned something about uh, browser windows, and then Aaron, uh, Brandon, rather, being the tech nerd that he is, <laughs> said that uh, if, you, if you only have, if you have uh, 16 gigs, you'd be fine. I think I have, I'm not really sure about my computer specs, to be honest. Um, I haven't actually kept track of it for a while. The one thing I do know, and I don't want, as much as I don't want to admit this, that uh, it is not Windows 11 compliant. So I need to, I will need to get a brand new PC. Unfortunate. That's the thing, though. I've checked it out before. And the only thing, everything in this PC, everything in the PC I have now is Windows compliant, except for the CPU. And that's the only thing, which is a real pain in the, which is a real pain, pardon my language here, but that's a real pain in the ass. I'll tell you that much, you know, just having, you know, having to buy a new computer just to be, you know, to be Windows compliant just because of the CPU. God, it's ridiculous, isn't it? But what can you do? Anyway, so uh, if you have any requests, please let me know and I will uh, get it on for you. In the meantime, we will, you know, uh, let me know in the chat box. But while we're doing that, we'll hear some poison. We both lie silently still in the dead of the night Although we both lie close together We feel miles apart inside Was it something I said or something I did? Did my words not come out right? Though I tried not to hurt you Though I tried But I guess that's why they say every road has its thing Just 
like every night has its dawn Just like every cowboy sings a sad, sad song Every rose has its thorn The DJ said loves a game of easy come and easy go But I wonder, does he know Has there ever been like this? And I know that you would be here right now If I could have let you know somehow I guess every rose has its thorn Just like every night as it's done Just like every cowboy Sings a sad, sad song Every rose has its thorn Though it's been a while now I can still feel so much pain Like the knife that cuts you the moon heals But the sky Not if I'd known what to say Instead of making love We both made us every way And now I He found somebody new And that I never meant that much to you To hear that tears me up inside And to see you cuts me like a knife I guess every rose has its thorn like every night has its dawn Just like every cowboy sings a sad, sad song Every rose has its thorn Alrighty, there was Poison with their song Every Rose Has Its Thorn I know in the chat we're talking about the uh, computer specs here, but it's very much uh, all over the place. Uh, there's actually quite a few different versions of Linux there, Robin. I know that uh, our friend Aaron was trying Linux Mint for a little while. I can't. I think there might be Linux Strawberry. There might be Linux Raspberry too. I'm not sure. I have to admit I'm not very familiar with Linux at all. So uh, yeah, <clears throat> so I don't know. I know, I mean, uh, from what I've, I could be wrong about this, but it seems like there's no, the Linux, there are no actual, ga there are no actual games for uh, for the Linux, for any Linux operating system right now. So, uh, yeah, I, I mean, you probably use Linux for like maybe, uh, possibly like a, you know, like a uh, network server, perhaps. I'm not really sure. I mean, I still remember Windows NT Workstation for crying out loud. You know, <laughs> how old is that thing? You know, I mean, I'm not a tech expert, but I'm not a, I'm not a, like I said, I'm not a tech expert by any stretch, but I have, a, I have enough understanding to know how a computer, how, you know, how a computer should work. So, yeah, of course, hopefully, and, uh, uh well, like I said, I'll have to uh, look into it for you a bit later. We'll see what happens. I forgot, uh, I used to know how tech, I don't even know, according to what I said. I have I have actually gotten the uh, check things, 
I have actually gotten the, you know the warning about it. That's not exactly uh, like I said. I have an Intel Celeron P, uh, quad core, so that's what that was. Yeah, I say guest one four three seven six is deciding to leave. Uh, guest five six one is sticking around, so that's perfectly okay. Either way. Alrighty, so let's see here. Yeah, that's true. It wasn't so bad before when Mick, when uh, of course when Bill Gates was the uh, was still the Microsoft's chief executive officer, but now that he's retired, the new one has uh, seems to uh, seems to do that, which is very annoying, I must say. Just watching an uh, episode of Jeopardy here. Uh, yeah, interesting. It's a very uh, I know a little earlier. Something about, uh, anyway, don't matter. Well, uh, I have to bring up, I do have to bring up my task manager. I don't know. Uh, I forgot how to do that, which is a bit of a nuisance. Um, all right. All right, shouldn't be doing this right now, but, uh, okay, so let's see here. Uh trying to do this, but I don't know what's going on here. Let's see here. Got my task manager up now. Processes here. Hmm. Okay, that's not what I'm looking for. Okay. Something about a... Uh, uh, not getting the information here, sadly. Um, well, as I self... I myself... I was speaking is having a chat there about the tech, which I don't really want to do. All right, so let's see here. Uh, oh, there we are. Oh, there we are. Uh, uh, just found it there. I just found it there, uh, Brandon. I should mention this. And we're gonna get off. I'm. Can we get off? Could we please get off the tech talk? I read out soon here, please. According to this, according to what I'm seeing here, it's an I. I my the. Uh, the CPU in my the CPU in my uh, Windows 10 machine is an i7. All right, that's an Intel 7. So I don't know if the eight no it that sorry, it's an i7 870. So uh, yeah, yeah I realized that Brandon Bill Gates retired some time about 50, about 15 years ago, and I don't know who took over. But like I said, the new guy as well as Windows uh, 11 bloat. Which is a pain in the backside, but what can you do? Alrighty, so we will uh, carry on. Here's a remaster for you.
Alrighty! There was a remaster, there was a 2022 remaster of the Lisa Lohi Tong, uh, Run With Us. At least her version of it anyway, because there's a Steve Lunt version too. I mean, that's the weird thing, you know. You can only remaster a song so many times before it becomes un, un you know, un, 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 uh, unpalatable by human ears. At least, if, I mean, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I mean, I'm not an expert on the subject. And I don't try, I try not to, I try not to follow the music industry too closely because it ends up just being doing, you know, uh, it's because uh, too many changes ends up with, uh, you know, it does your head in. And that's why I don't really try not to talk too much tech talk either because, uh, again, it does my head in and I get a headache from it, you know. Uh, it's just, again, I just find it very difficult to follow. Anyway, let's uh, carry on with the next music here. And it's an interesting Eric Clapton tune because I've never actually heard him do... I've never actually heard this song before. Somewhere over the rainbow Way up There's a land that I heard of Once in a lullaby Skies are blue And the dreams That you dare to dream Really do Come true Someday I wish you for the star Wake up where the clouds Are far behind me Where troubles fail like lemon drop when you cross the chimney tops that's where you'll find me somewhere over the rainbow bluebirds fly birds fly over the rainbow why did I like Someday I wish you a star Wake up where the clouds are far behind me Where troubles melt like lemon drop Where you cross the chimney top That's where you'll find me Birds fly over the rainbow. Why then, oh, why can't I? Birds fly over the rainbow. Why then, oh, why can't I? If happy little birds fly beyond the rainbow. Why, oh, why can't I? Thank <laughs> you. 
bless you. Thank you very much and good night. Alrighty, there you are. That was Eric Clapton's version of Somewhere Over the Rainbow. That's actually kind of a kind of kind of puts a he kind of put a jazzy tune to it, which isn't so bad. You know, I mean, there are some songs. I have to admit, there are some songs that uh, lend themselves well to uh, the jazz kind of a you know the jazz treatment, but there are some that aren't, there are some that don't. I know that, uh, of course. I have to admit, for fame, you know, for Christmas carols, my my. Not that we're, I know that's a little early for that, but uh, like I said, my uh, favorite Christmas carol is the uh, Vince Giraldi Trio's version of Oh Christmas Tree showed up, uh, which appeared in the episode, uh, you know, the movie Merry Christmas Charlie Brown. Unfortunately, you don't see that on TV anymore, uh, but I know why. Big hello to guest 68431 who has joined, which is fantastic. I think they've been here, I think they were here earlier, so welcome back to you, sir or madam, whichever the case might be. Just bear with me here while I change my TV channel. I was watching Jeopardy with uh, Ken Jennings, and that's ended now. Unfortunately, I didn't see the ending of it. So uh, there you are, and things are being a pain in the backside because of the of a new card table that I have in my bedroom. Although I use it, I don't use it for playing cards. I use it for putting puzzles together. And I finally got to the program, the TV channel, which I wanted. That's a pain in the backside. All right. So anyway, so let's see here. All right. Oops. Okay, that's not really wanting to do. Let's see here. We're going to play some uh, Kit Rock here, provided I can get this thing cooperating. I don't know. Weird. That's uh, that's my audio player for you. Anyway, let's carry on. 